this is Gina Seam and today I'm going to be showing you how I conceal my overgrown eyebrows. So if you don't have any time to get to a salon or to wax them yourself, this method is going to come in pretty handy and make you go from looking like a hairy disaster to an actual human being. So here is what my eyebrows looked like before and after I conceal them, this is how they look. Okay, so let's get started. So before you start to uh, tame your two bushes over here, it's always better to exfoliate your face first because since I'm gonna be using concealer, it helps to avoid a very cakey kind of a look. This eyebrow is just hairy for no reason. And this one has a higher arch, but it has less hair for some other reason. So when my hair starts to come in underneath my eyebrows, it tends to make the area right underneath my brow look a little bit gray. So in order to fix that, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of concealer first. I'm gonna take a brush and the Anastasia Cream Contour Kit Palette. I'm just gonna apply the color Banana underneath my eyebrow to hide those hairs and also create a little bit of a shape. Then apply the same color right on top. Just take a wet blender puff and blend that out. Next, I'm just going to use a little bit of my foundation and apply the foundation over the concealer. This is just going to make that highlighter shade not stand out as much and basically blend your skin tone in. It also hides a lot of those tiny little hairs. Now you want to just lock that in. So I'm gonna use the Light and Shade palette from Kat Von D and I'm just going to use the lightest color to set the concealer and the foundation. Next, just use a clean mascara brush and brush your eyebrow bush upwards. By brushing your hairs upwards, you're going to be able to get a nice clean line to shape your eyebrows. Now, I don't use the dip brow because my eyebrows are very dark, so I can get away with using black eyeshadow. But if you don't have much hair in your eyebrows, then you can always use dip brow to create more of a shape. So I'm just going to use a sharp angle brush, and you can use any black eyeshadow if you have eyebrows as dark as mine or dark brown, and create a nice straight line right underneath where you want your eyebrows to be shaped. And you're just gonna take that line all the way to the end. So now in order to make your eyebrows look natural, don't go straight up like this like some people do. It makes me want to jump off a cliff. Just take the sharper end of your brush and brush that line you just created upward. What that's gonna do is it's going to kind of give you an illusion of extra hairs where there might not be any hair. And it also is a lot softer. It doesn't look very harsh. If you feel like your eyebrow looks too sharp, you can use the same brush and use the edge of it and just brush that whole line upwards. It's going to soften this line that you created and it will also fill the brows in. So when it comes to the top of your eyebrows, if you have an arch and the arch doesn't have much hair in it, you could shade the arch in but don't go over the top because that's going to make it look far too exaggerated and will just bring more attention to your eyebrows, which is what you're not trying to do. And the line that you brought down this way, you just want to blend it off. You just do it with your finger. Hope you guys like this tutorial. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share, and follow my social media accounts listed in the description. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye.